Well, welcome to my fifth video on my keeper case collection of things that I've chipped out. And as you can see, um, since last week, we are buried in snow. So I'm out here today in my man cave, and I'm going to do a little recording here because I just want spring to come and I'm tired of waiting. And I figure if I just put up with this cold, it'll go away. So you might hear my heater a little bit in the background, but today's video is going to be on keeper case number five. These are the objects that I've made using a Flint Ridge chert from Ohio. Now every piece in here, uh, I purchased the rock from Roy Miller from Ohio. He quarries this on his land and uh, he does all the hard work actually. He, he, quarries, he digs it, quarries it, he spalls it, he, he treats it, and then he packs it up and he sold it to me. So all I had to do was hand him some money, send him some money, and uh, about three or four days later in the mail becomes, a box comes, and uh, this is what I get right here. This is how they start. Now this is something I don't normally like to work with is slabs, but because material is costly, uh, this is the most efficient way to get the most out of a, a chunk of rock is to slice it up, cut it up, and heat treat it. Let's see, this rock was, this was only eight dollars. And I say only because some of this can get up to forty, fifty dollars. Another really pretty piece that someday, hopefully, if everything holds up and I don't uh, mess it up, we'll have a nice point out of this. This is a fifteen dollar rock. So, this is what I start with, and then I, of course I nap it, and uh, let's get started on this case. Now I'm not going to pick each one of them out of here because I kind of have them taped in there because they're so crowded in, and uh, if I stand the case up, everything slides around. Let's start out with this guy right here. This is nice Flint Ridge turtle. Again, another turtle or an effigy or whatever you find in my keeper cases that I really like. Um, so next to that are two different Dalton style points. Now what's interesting here is of course this is the beautiful Flint Ridge material. And this one here, I will pick this up. This is Nether's chert and it does appear in that same formation of Vanport chert but it's more banded and you notice this has a whole unique look to it. Look at that. It doesn't look anything like that does it but it is all part of the Flint Ridge uh, formation and it's just pretty cool all its own there's a couple pieces of it in here look at this one here that one is also nethers and that's more spotted than than the other one was striped next to that is a nice Thebes style point now for me what makes it nice is I got my bevels really good you can see how strong the bevels are on this one and that was a sign of resharpening this is a Steve style dog leg point and it really did come out the way I wanted it to which is that's a plus next to that is a really colorful beautiful stone I'm trying to keep the shadows out of this so if you see me tipping around it's because as you notice oh maybe the shadows better that point has a beautiful band right through the middle of it right here and uh, I really like that one. Here's another pretty one, another variation of that Flint Ridge material. And as we go across, you will see um, different colors, different styles of points. This is a hardened style in the turtle. And now down here we get into like dovetails and Snyders and and some really good ones that I uh, have made over the years that I really really like never wanted to part with. There's an absolutely beautiful um, hardened style point but this one here I'm gonna go like this. Look at this turkey tail. Wow! That thing is just the coolest looking point. And it worked very well and uh, that was a bigger spall. I, can, I don't remember the prices on all these uh, you know as far as what I paid for them but uh, the rocks but anyway Here's one I carried in my pocket, right here. And that's got a nice sheen to it from being in the pocket, carried and 
fondled every now and then you put your hand in your pocket you feel the arrowhead in there and just kind of rub on there and after a while it gets what I call a pocket patina next to that are a couple dovetails beautiful greens and uh, oranges just unbelievable color working our way down got some Snyder's point and this one here I think I carried it in my pocket for over two years so that one's been around a while and that one is just so pretty I like everything about it you know let's take a better look at that Wow yeah you can almost see scenery on that like like there's a forest and a shoreline up to a waterway you know it's just it's cool another Snyder's and more of a stemmed point there notch point here's another pocket point right here Look at this one. This one really shines. And ending up with a little bit of an E-notch style point. Now, like I say, you heard me say that I carry some in my pocket. Well, this is the one I carry right now in my pocket. Let's see if we can get a look at that, because this one's pretty special. Now, when you hold this up to the light, well, this light's not right here. You can see there's a druzy quartz vein that runs right through it, and you can see light right through that. So this is a really neat one, and uh, it's a favorite pocket point of mine. Look at the colors in this. It's almost got like a forest green and a red tip, and then that druzy quartz vein. So that's pretty much a look at my Flint Ridge case. The ones that are beautiful, the beautiful rock, I don't know, I might use that as my title. Of the beautiful rock and uh, I'm a day late getting this out but uh, next week I'm gonna give you a little preview of what I'm gonna talk about and we're gonna go back in time and uh, what I'm gonna show you next week is my very first case of points that I made back around 89 90 that I was super proud of wanted to show everybody and uh, I've had this kind of squirreled away for a while but here's a little preview of what we're gonna look at next week look at how tiny everything is see I had small rock to work with so next week if you tune in we're gonna talk about this case a lot of Onondaga shirt in there a lot of beer bottle bottoms and so on but I want to thank you once again for joining me on another uh, weekly look at my keeper case collection of things I've chipped and uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, you know, consider giving me a thumbs up and a comment. And if you're not subbed, I'd really appreciate if you'd drop me a sub. And I'd like to get my numbers up. My dream is someday to get that play button, but I'm a long ways from that. But who knows? I am, it might happen. It might not. But that is just kind of a, uh, a goal. You know, and I guess all YouTubers have it. So... Once again, thanks again for watching, sticking with me to the end, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.